see this definition? I can't achieve this without some gel. But not to worry, I'm spilling all the tea. Hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie, and I am so happy that you are here. Before we get started today, please go ahead and make sure that you're subscribed. I would love to have you join the Alyssa Marie XO fam. Today, I want to get into talking about gel. Like, back in the day, I feel like gel was a bad word. The gels that were available to us were full of alcohol and all these other chemicals that would dry out your hair, get flaky, stiff. But nowadays, I feel like gel no longer has to be like a bad thing. It doesn't have to be bad for your hair anymore. I actually never style my hair without gel. But you already know I'm really, really huge on only using like healthy products with like good top quality ingredients in my curls in order to keep them nice and healthy. So today, I'm gonna share with y'all all the tea and I'm gonna share my top three favorite gels of all time. I'll tell you why, I'll tell you what I use them with, etc., etc. So let's get started. So let's jump straight on in here. I'm gonna start with number three and go up to number one, which is gonna be like my top all time favorite gel. Um, so you have to watch all the way until the end to see which one that is. All right, so starting with number three, my number three top favorite gel of all time is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. So Camille Rose is a brand that I genuinely love in general. They pride themselves on using very natural ingredients and I really think that their products are suited for a very wide range of curls, which I really, really love. Like, you know, there's certain brands that you know are like, oh, that's better for 3C curls versus, oh, there's that brand that's only really good for like 4C curls. Like, I really, really feel like Camille Rose covers all bases. And I also just trust this brand so much. When you look at the ingredients on the back of their products, it's very kind of straightforward, easy to read. And that's usually a sign that the ingredients are less chemically and more natural. So my favorite thing about the curl maker is that it gives such a strong hold, but it also gives such amazing shine. So I like to use this with my other Camille Rose products. I find that it works well with those. It doesn't necessarily work well with every single product. Like for example, sometimes if you mix it with a certain product, it can get a little white looking and a little flaky. But um, if you use it right with the right products, this is so bomb. I also really love to use this to slick back my hair. This is actually my go-to product out of all of these gels today that I like to use to slick back my hair and also design my little baby hairs. I just love how shiny it makes my hair look. It's just, this is really amazing. So if you're looking for like super crazy intense definition, this is a really great product to start with. This is actually one that I started with at the beginning of my natural hair journey. So I just have like a special place in my heart for this and I always, always, always make sure I have a bottle stocked. All right, so for number two, that is going to be my Diva Curl Archangel Gel. So this gel is very different from these other gels that I have here. So the curl maker is kind of sticky. It has a very like jelly-like consistency. This is not sticky or jelly. For me personally and for my curls when I use this, I don't really experience like the stiffness at all, but I do still get that crazy amount of curl definition. I also love how it smells. Honestly, it's really, really nice. And like I said, the consistency isn't jelly, so it feels pretty lightweight in your hair. For Archangel specifically, I like to make sure that I use it with a very, very moisturizing leave-in conditioner first. This can tend to make your curls feel a little bit on the drier side if you didn't, or at least my curls, if I don't use a moisturizing leave-in ahead of it. What's special about this gel also is that it gives me volume. So normally with gel, you would think like, okay, your hair's gonna be defined, so it's obviously gonna fall more and it'll be just contained and defined. This, it just works so special and just so different. It's a very unique gel, as in the fact that after I wear this, I have insane volume but definition at the same time. So it's like a good mix of volume and definition. Now it'll really depend on like what kind of a look that I'm going for as to which of any of these gels that I will use because they all kind of give like a different look. But this one definitely allows me to have a good, good amount of volume as well as curl definition. Diva Curl as a brand is also very, very big on the health of your curls. So this is another brand that I genuinely trust so much whenever they come out with a product. I feel like I don't even need to look at the ingredients on the back. They are always 100% sulfate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, like 
what more could you ask for? All right, and then for my number one favorite gel currently of all time, drum roll please, the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. This stuff is so good. Okay, so this is what I actually have in my hair today. This is a day, when did I wash my hair? Today's Saturday. So this is day three of using Kinky Curly. I feel like I've got a good amount of shine, good amount of curl, and it's still like not too big, it's not too little, like it's just perfect. You know, it's funny because I feel like Kinky Curly is like the best of the last two gels that I spoke about. So it's very similar to the Curl Maker in that it does give you a little bit of a stiffening factor, especially if you use as much as I like to use in my curls on day one. Like after I've washed and then applied it, my hair is always much smaller, like like this and contained. It has that stiffness factor that you kind of have to fluff out a little bit or it kind of goes away on its own by day two. And this also gives shine. But as you can see today, I still have achieved a good amount of volume with it. Another thing I love about this, and I spoke about this in my last most recent video, which was about how to achieve like super defined curls on your wash day. Of course, I use this bad boy. I will link that somewhere up here if you want to check that video out as well. But as I was saying, the thing that I also mentioned in that video about this that I love is that it's so refreshable. So like today, I just spritzed in a little bit of water and then that's it. Like some gels just don't like to be refreshed. They can kind of get a little sticky. They can get a little bit flaky when you try and refresh them. But Kinky Curly, it just like as soon as the water touches it, if you have any frizz spots, you just kind of run your fingers through it and boom, like it's just like reactivates the product and it's ready to go again. I have also spoken to a number of other curly girls who also really, really love this. So I really, really feel like this also works for a very wide range of curly girls as well. So far, I've tried this with like three different leave-ins and it seems to work well with all of them. So I also really, really love the fact that this is workable with almost anything. From this gel, I haven't noticed any flakes at all, so that's always a huge plus because I really cannot stand a flaky gel. Also, like the curl maker, the ingredients on the back are just like, the list is like this big, and the words are like super easy. So for example, botanical infusion of water, horsetail, chamomile, like it's just, you know exactly what you're putting in your hair. It's derived from more natural ingredients, and I just, I just think this is magic in a bottle and I feel like if you don't have it, you need it like ASAP. I will buy like three of these at one time because it's so damn good. Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. If you did, y'all know what to do. Go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you have another chance to do it right now and while you're doing that, leave another video for you to watch right here. Thanks so much for watching guys. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.